A common mistake that we make all the time, a lot of us, a lot of us, even people with money, we make the common mistake of living above our means or we meet our means and then we use credit cards as an extension of wealth. Do you understand what I'm getting at here? You live above your means or equal to your means and you use credit, loans and credit cards as an extension of wealth. Why? Education. Not knowing how to budget our money. Now, I can come up with so many freaking reasons, but this is the thing. Here's a quick message for you, Ross World. Live below your means. Live below your means. If you make 50,000, live like you make 35,000. If you make 70,000, live like you make 50,000. Okay? And I know some of you have been waiting your whole life to live this glorious life. Like, man, I make 70,000. Man, I make 80,000. Oh, I'm about to do it up. I'm about to give me a new car. I'm going to give me a condo in that neighborhood. I'm going to give me some new kicks. Yo, I'm about to do it up. Live below your needs. Live below your means. Don't buy everything you want, but have everything you need. Live below your means. This is why. You're going to have fun right now. You're going to ball till you fall. You're going to do all, you're going to do it big with your friends and everything. Everybody going to depend on you for money. <laughs> That's what they do, right? When you make a little bit of money, they depend on you for money. Hey man, let me hold something. Let me hold something, man. Jingling, jingling. But this is the thing. If you make 80,000 and you live like you make 60, 50,000, how much money could you be saving and investing? How much money? What else could you do with that money that's profitable? Could you start your own business? Could you invest into your school, your kid's college fund? Could you give money away to charity or give things away to charity? When you live below your means, your avenues, your doors of possibilities open because now you have the money. Now you have the revenue. Now you have the backing from yourself to put yourself above everyone else who's making that same amount of money. Now, I gave a story a while ago about a UPS worker who only made like $20,000 a year. And by the time he died, he had like, you know, 10, $15 million because first and foremost, he lived below his means. Okay. Because this is the thing. When we're making a substantial amount of money, and this is the thing, some people use cars and houses to let them know how successful they are. You know how I know? This idiot, this stupid person. See, in a comic session, you don't need to, you don't need to leave me no nasty comments, and I'm not saying you guys do, because I'm gonna do it myself. I'm gonna beat myself up, because I am here to help. We are family, I said it before. I'm here to help because I made a lot of dumb mistakes and I don't want you to make the same mistakes. This is pretty much why this channel exists. All the, all the other reasons it exists. It's because I made those dumb mistakes because when I made more money, I spent more money. You know, biggie, more money's more problems. That is so true. Because we make so much, much money, we want to do so much more with our money. At first, you're like, oh, I went to Six Flags once a year. Now you're going to Six Flags six times a year. At first, you used to travel to Mexico every three years. Now you're going to Jamaica every year. These are the stupid examples I'm throwing out, but you get what I'm saying. You're spending money frivolously. You're spending money just, just wilding out with your money. Stop wilding out. Bring it in. Grasp a reality. Bring it down a little bit. If you're making 50000 Live like you're making 30000 This life is not promised. And yes, some of you say life is short. I could get killed in a car accident. I can drink some poison at a restaurant in Atlanta, Houston. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, wrong story. <laughs> but this is the thing. You have to know that either you or someone that you care and love may need access to your assets. They need access to your assets because when you get elderly, 
good health is not promised. Some people are like, oh, I'm juicing now. I'm using the Vita Mix Blender because I'm blending up all my fruits and veggies and I feel healthier. But you never know when cancer strikes. You never know when dementia hits. You never know when Parkinson's disease come about. All these things, our bodies are strong now, but as we get older, it gets weaker. So we have to set ourselves up for the future. And if it, if not us, then we're setting up our kids. We're setting up our children. We're setting up our family members that we love. Because I know some of you are like, I ain't going to do nothing for him over here. I ain't doing nothing for her over there because they treated me like shit and they ain't butt shit. I got you. I got you. But we have to be smart about these people because... I told my wife when I got married, I said, babe, we got to take a trip at least one time a year. And it doesn't have to be overseas. It can be local. I mean, we can go drive down to California. We can go to D.C., back home. Uh, we can go to all these different places. It don't have to be anything extravagant. And guess what? I mean, one time we took a 45-minute trip to Seattle, stayed at a hotel, one-night vacation. It doesn't take much. That vacation was to, you know, decompress stress, get away from our neighborhood, our environment, our kids, and to do, and do something small. I think our little trip cost us about 300 bucks, okay? 300 bucks is not a lot of money. We stayed at a decent hotel. We had a really good meal. We did some things in the hotel, and we came back after, you know, we stayed there till noon, and then we... Asked for an extension for an hour, so we left around 12.30, 12.45, because it took her a long time to pack her stuff up. But anyway, <laughs> that was our vacation for that year. Now, granted, we go to different little things and outings with our kids. We're always going to the movies, but that's how we budget and save our money and always have money, because you know, next year, we're going to Jamaica for our vacation and so on. We're going to stay about a week or so. But every year, we didn't take a huge vacation. Like this year, we're not taking a huge vacation. We're going down to Oregon for the Christmas holidays, but that's about it. That's what we're doing. And I'm just giving you real life examples about what I am doing so you understand a little bit. You give a little bit of information say, okay, I understand what he's getting at for you to be better. This is Ross World where I used to live way above my means. And I used to use my credit cards and I used to use loans as an extension of my wealth, as an extension of my money, but no longer. I don't do that stupid stuff no more. I live below my means. I don't even have cable TV. I'm out.